Good morning, everyone. This morning's message is for who it is for. Now, yesterday I had a rather heartfelt conversation with a young man. And when I say young, I mean somebody in their late teens, just about to approach their 20s. So it was indeed a heartfelt type of conversation because I really don't get that many young men reaching out to me. It's more so of a mature crowd that reach out. So I definitely appreciate the fact that he took the time to reach out to me seeking help in finding himself because he clearly stated that he's finding himself drawn to society more which he's not living his authentic truth or living in his true purpose but more so in the purpose and influences that surrounds him so after our long talk he asked me to do a word to the wise about what we spoke about so that other young men may benefit from that so here we are this morning so i hope that this message finds other young people who feel trapped or lost in this web that keeps pulling them in and i want to share some thoughts with you especially our young men on the journey of self-discovery and leadership now when you make the courageous step the courageous decision to embrace your true self it often leads to feelings of loneliness and this is because those around you may desire for you to conform to their expectations or to mirror their own identities and in this process of self-realization you come to understand that hey you are unique you're special and you're important and this revelation fuels your drive to pursue your dreams and aspirations however the path of authenticity can be very isolating every visionary idea my friends begins with its first believer and its first believer is the individual who holds the vision so this ownership of one's dreams can be solitary it can definitely be a solitary experience yet the beauty lies in the fact that when you choose to pursue your vision irrespective of the loneliness it brings you start to attract others who resonate with your passion it's the ability for you to channel your solitude into purposeful action that draws people towards you so i too my friends often find myself in solitude and i have learned to recognize that being a leader can be a lonely journey leaders often find themselves ahead of the crowd navigating uncharted territories where few persons dare to tread so the reality is that if you have others surrounding you you are likely a part of the collective rather than standing apart so this solitude is not merely a byproduct but more so a conscious choice made for the sake of making a difference in this world let's look at this concept throughout history many great leaders have embraced their loneliness as they sought to discover their true selves let's consider persons from the bible let's consider the figures like moses who spent time in the wilderness trying to find himself or jesus who reflected in the desert or even the apostle paul who retreated to the desert for clarity and strength 
their journeys illustrate that pursuing something greater than the mere presence of a crowd often leads to authentic leadership. And so I have been alone most of the time. I'm lonely now because as a leader, it's always lonely because we are out in front. So there is no one there with us. So when you think about it though, my friends, if you have anyone around you, then you're a part of the crowd. So here is a saying that I believe makes a lot of sense to me, that is. And the idea is that one cannot lead an orchestra unless they turn their back to the audience. So this metaphor underscores the necessity of stepping away from the crowd to truly lead. So if you aspire to be a leader, you must be willing to turn your back to the crowd, focusing instead on the vision that lies ahead of you. So in conclusion, my friends, while the path of leadership may be lonely, it is also profoundly rewarding. So embracing solitude can be the key to unlocking your potential and leading others to a meaningful future. So remember, a man who wants to lead the orchestra must turn his back to the crowd. Yeah, man. A word to the wise.